Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Box, and today I think we have the most DIY projects I have ever done in one video, and they are all from the dollar store. Now before jumping into the projects, I do want to give a humongous thank you to today's sponsor, which is is that the base station kind of like notifies you what's occurring so when a door is opening like i know when marie's sneaking out i know when marie's sneaking back in i know when she leaves simply safe is literally the best yeah you guys have to check it out if you do not have a security system definitely check out simply safe
coating of this white acrylic paint over the top of all of it. And that finished off our faux stoneware base. Adding baking soda to your paint when you paint ceramic objects like this is such an easy way to achieve a similar finish and it's really easy and effortless. Just let it dry overnight and you're good to go.
low. However, I just did about five coats continuously twisting them. And once they were fully dry, I went ahead and I tied around the string to a dowel here. This is just a 12 inch dowel and also on the opposite side. The start of our wall hanging here. It's just a really cute little painted section. And I also wanted to add the hanging portion, of course. So I went ahead and around the string on each side. And they just really cute. And I grabbed a couple of these strings and put them like this with my hands. I'm going to put dollars on the top deck. And I got the whole floor. So I pulled them out. And I rubbing buff or anything that I could easily add an antique to look to it with so I continuously dipped it and dried it in between with a heat gun just to give it like a very very tarnished effect to the bottom and I love the
just added again a generous coat of this, smeared it on with my finger. No rhyme or reason to this at all because we are going to be kind of finishing off the texture in a little bit with a brush. So I smeared it all around, making sure to get all the sides and also the top section here. You can go ahead and tape off little, like, approaching and the dollar store has so many Halloween inspired goodies so I picked up this creepy cloth here and I want to turn it into a throw pillow so I layered two packs of it together and then I pulled a bit of canvas which I'm going to go ahead and cut out a 16 and a half by 10 and a half inch square on and those half inch sections are actually our seat allowance so the pillow is going to end up being a 16 inches
thousand and I glue three of them on top of each other. As you can see here, I'm pressing them together and make sure to just wipe away any glue that might seep out of the edges, but you're going to be doing this for however many coasters you want. I did a set of four um, with two packs of glue. Once those are dry, I use a little bit of sandpaper and just sand down any of the edges because after I pull them out and the books, there was quite a bit of glue.
I just filled it all the way up, let it sit for about an hour, and that is your new candle. It's so, so cute. Alrighty, you guys, so you made it to the end of the video. That was a pretty long one, but I hope you enjoyed all of those projects.